In life, each night represents a new chapter, an opportunity for reflection and renewal. But what if I told you that a good night's sleep is just the beginning? That the journey to waking up refreshed goes beyond simple rest? Get ready to dive into a transformative experience where each stoic practice intertwines to create a cycle of renewal and empowerment. In this video, we'll unravel the secrets of the stoic night routine. Discover how self-examination, preparation for sleep, come together to create a new way of living and waking up. Get ready for a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Come with me and discover the power of stoic philosophy for a balanced and fulfilling life. First, take self-examination. Reflecting on the day that has passed is like looking back and understanding the journey we've traveled. As Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. It's important because it helps us grow, learn, and become better every day. When we take the time for self-examination, we make space for self-awareness and personal growth. Imagine your day was like a book. When you engage in self-examination, you're rereading the pages of that book. You can see the chapters where you excelled, where you faced challenges, and where you could have acted differently. That's powerful. Identifying areas for improvement doesn't mean harsh self-criticism. It's like looking at a garden and seeing which flowers need more water or sunlight to grow, as Epictetus teaches. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. It's about nurturing what's already within you. Celebrating achievements, no matter how small, is essential. Sometimes we forget to acknowledge our own accomplishments, but every little victory deserves to be celebrated because they propel us forward. A simple practice of self-assessment is to set aside a few minutes every night to reflect on the day. It can be while having a warm cup of tea or before going to bed. Ask yourself, what good did I do today? What could I have done better? What did I learn? Remember, self-examination isn't a judgment but an opportunity for growth. It's like a conversation with yourself, a moment of honesty and self-discovery. Second, preparation for challenges. It is not the man who must adapt to the times, but the times to the man. Seneca. Mentally preparing for challenges is a stoic practice that reminds us of the importance of cultivating a resilient and adaptable mindset. Just as Seneca reminds us, we are not mere soldiers of fate, but agents capable of shaping our own path, even in the face of uncertainties. Positive visualization and mentalization are powerful tools valued by the Stoics as well. Epictetus reminds us, what disturbs people is not things, but their judgments about them. Our thoughts and imaginations have the power to shape our internal reality, and consequently, our response to external challenges. By setting aside a few minutes before sleep to visualize success, we are following the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This practice allows us to interpret events constructively, strengthening our minds to face the challenges that tomorrow holds. Therefore, by mentally preparing for challenges, we are following in the footsteps of the great Stoics, building the inner fortitude necessary to face life's storms with serenity and determination. Third, engage in reflective reading. Reflective reading is food for the soul, a balm for the restlessness of the mind. Just as the body is strengthened by a healthy diet, the mind is enriched by reading texts that elevate us spiritually, said Epictetus. Imagine yourself sitting by a stream with a book in your hands and the gentle sound of flowing water in the background this image conveys peace, doesn't it? That's what reflective reading can bring to our lives. Stoic texts are like wise counselors, guiding us through the paths of acceptance, impermanence, and serenity. They remind us that many things are beyond our control, but we can control how we react to them. Acceptance is like opening our arms to what life brings us, even if it's not what we expected. Impermanence reminds us that everything in life is fleeting and we should cherish each moment, and serenity is the state of inner peace we find when we learn to accept impermanence. So, why not set aside some time for reflective reading? Choose a text that resonates with you, that makes you reflect on life and what truly matters. You'll see how this can transform not only your nights, but your life as a whole. Fourth, the practice of gratitude. Each day is a journey, 
and the nights are for resting and reflecting on that journey. Gratitude is the fuel that keeps us moving, even in the toughest times, said Seneca. Cultivating gratitude before bedtime is like watering a plant, which blooms happiness into our lives. It's a special moment when we can acknowledge the blessings we've received, no matter how small they may seem. The importance of gratitude lies in shifting our perspective, directing our focus to what we have rather than what we lack. Imagine gratitude as a ray of sunshine, illuminating even the darkest corners of our soul. When we focus on what we're grateful for, worries and stress seem to diminish. A simple practice is to keep a gratitude journal. Before bed, take a notebook and write down three things you're grateful for that day. It could be a kind gesture from a stranger, a meal, or even the shining sun. This exercise helps us develop a positive mindset and find joy in the little things. If writing isn't your thing, that's okay. You can simply reflect on the good things that happened during the day. Close your eyes for a moment and let those moments of gratitude fill your heart with peace. Gratitude is like a flame that warms our soul. The more we practice it, the brighter it becomes. So, take a few minutes every night to cultivate gratitude in your life. You'll see how it transforms not only your nights, but also your days. Fifth, be detached. The wise man lives as if he doesn't know what will happen in the future, but leaves to fate what is uncertain, said Epictetus. Being detached is like being a light sailor in a sea of changes. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true treasure isn't in the things we possess, but in the freedom of not depending on them to find happiness. It's like untying the knots that bind us to the past or future expectations. Think about the things you have. Do they define who you are? Stoics remind us that everything in life is transient, including ourselves. When we understand this, detachment becomes a journey of liberation. A powerful practice is meditating on the impermanence of things. Take a few minutes before bedtime to contemplate the ephemeral nature of everything around you. Trees lose their leaves in autumn but are reborn in spring. Just like them, we also go through cycles of change. Another way to cultivate detachment is by recognizing what truly matters. Ask yourself, what is essential for my happiness? Is it material possessions or relationships, shared moments, love? Detachment doesn't mean giving up everything but learning to value what's genuinely significant in our lives. It's like emptying the backpack so we can walk lighter and freer. So, allow yourself to practice detachment. You'll see how it brings a sense of peace and contentment that no material possession can provide. Sixth, preparation for sleep. Preparing for a good night's sleep is like making the bed for a dear guest. It's a gesture of self-care. First and foremost, it's crucial to reduce exposure to blue light. Imagine this light as the midday sun, stimulating your brain and hindering sleep. So, lower the intensity of electronic screens a few hours before bedtime. Additionally, establishing a relaxing routine before bedtime is essential. It can be as simple as drinking chamomile tea, reading a few pages of an inspiring book, or practicing a few minutes of meditation. These activities help calm the mind and prepare the body for rest. Keep the bedroom as a sleep sanctuary. Ensure that the temperature is comfortable, noises are minimal, and lighting is soft. Remember that the environment where you sleep can make all the difference in the quality of your rest. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, when you close your eyes to sleep, think about what happened during the day and ask yourself if you did the best you could. If you made a mistake, don't torment yourself. Just resolve not to make the same mistake the next day. Therefore, Preparing for sleep is also about cultivating mental tranquility. By following these simple tips, you'll be building the foundation for a restorative night's sleep and wake up refreshed to face the next day. After all, sleep is a gift that allows us to recharge our energy and tackle challenges with more vigor and clarity. Seventh, energy reserve for tomorrow. When we sleep well, we not only rest our bodies but also recharge our minds and souls. It's like recharging the battery of our phone to face a new day full of challenges and opportunities. Remember the wise words of the Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius. When you wake up in the morning, think about the precious privilege of being alive, breathing, thinking, feeling, loving. Each new morning is a gift, 
and a good night's sleep prepares us to make the most of it. Let's commit to taking care of our sleep as we would care for a valuable treasure. By doing so, we cultivate a more balanced, productive, and fulfilling life. Remember, rest is the key to success. We reflected on the importance of self-examination, preparing for challenges, practicing gratitude and detachment, and creating a conducive sleep environment. These are simple yet powerful practices that can transform our quality of life. I would like to invite you to share your experiences in the comments. The exchange of ideas and experiences enriches the learning of all of us, and I am eager to hear how you are applying these teachings in your lives. I greatly appreciate your attention and support. If you enjoyed the content and wish to receive more on Stoic philosophy and well-being, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. This way, you'll always be updated with new videos and can continue this journey with us. Remember the words of Seneca, a mind free of disturbances is the greatest fortune one can have. May we cultivate this inner tranquility, find peace at night, and wake up refreshed for a new day. I wish you all a restful night, full of inspiring dreams, and may we wake up with clear minds and light hearts. Until next time, and sweet dreams, warm regards, God bless.